The championship race at Interlagos got underway with the Aston Martin on pole position. Thomas Enger just about squeezing it ahead into the first corner. And once again, everybody made it through. It was very tight and very close, and some people almost brushed into others. Richard Westbrook was coming from the very back of the grid in the Ford, but this was a crucial move as Enrique Bernoldi squeezed his Maserati past the Hexis Aston Martin and up into third place. And meanwhile, the Corvette was battling hard with the Lamborghini. Richard Westbrook was moving up the order, but not quite as quickly as they really needed to. The Martec team were looking for a very strong result to keep their championship hopes alive in this one. As we got into the latter stages, the second half of the race, Michael Bartels was at the wheel of the number one Maserati, hoping to wrap up the championship. Andrea Bertolini had done his bit, but Bartels was struggling to force his way up the top ten a little further against the Hexes Aston Martin. Down into the tight infield corners, we saw a great battle going on between Thomas Much, who was now on board the number five Ford. Alex Muller was in the Maserati, and these guys were just swapping. Virtually every lap at one point, it felt like they were doing this. And Michael Bartels was still trying to get past the Hexis Aston Martin just a few metres ahead. Again, side by side through the first corner. Thomas Much in the Ford, Alex Muller in the Maserati. They were rubbing paintwork, but they were keeping it clean, and it was providing us with some fantastic entertainment. Finally, Bartels got past the Aston. Alex Muller tried to follow him through. He couldn't quite do it, but this was a very clean pass by Michael Bartels. This was also perhaps a little more physical, but that was the change of lead as Zandi Negrau took the lead from Darren Turner, who was by then on board the Aston Martin. But this kind of racing just went on and on and on. In the pits, Enrique Bedoldi was looking nervous, anxious, but he didn't need to worry. Zandi Negrau came through to take victory in the all-Brazilian lineup in the number two Vitaphone car, and the crowd went wild. They absolutely loved the achievement of seeing two Brazilian drivers win on home soil. Very important in terms of the championship for the Vitaphone team. Their other car might not have won the driver's title yet, but in terms of the team's points, they scored more. Thomas Butch in his battle on the last lap, spinning out as a result of locking up a wheel, but he had entertained us mightily. Unfortunately, this marked the end of Thomas Butch's hopes of winning the driver's championship. But it isn't all settled yet, because Aston Martin did a good enough job that Darren Turner and Thomas Eng could still, in theory, win the title. Zandi Negrau, though, was a star, joining Enrique Benaldi for the first time this season, and the two Brazilian boys delivered extremely well. Zandi Negrau's pass to take the lead was fantastic, and there was Michael Bartels, the team boss, as well as driver, of course, congratulating the Brazilians for what they had done. They took the top step of the podium on the second step, the Aston Martin team of Enger and Turner, and a good drive also for the Covet guys of Mark Henarici and Alex Margaritis. Vital points for them as they're still battling for second place in the championship. The champagne spray told the story of a magnificent race here at Interlagos in Brazil.